Be a beautiful. All right, here's what we're doing next. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. We're gonna get this motherboard out. All right, so just a little bit of a little bit of a backstory on this computer. While I'm working on this computer, the computer will power on briefly, and when I say briefly, it powers on for less than a second and immediately powers itself off. And I was like, hmm, that's strange. So I started looking at it and under a thermal camera and I found it. So what I was saying is we're looking at this. I put it under a thermal camera. There was two components getting extremely hot just having power connected to them. One of them was any day now, it's this guy. The other one was, where am I? It's this guy. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start by first removing this to see if it gets rid of our short because we have a short running across our power rail and then if that doesn't work, we are going to come over here and we're going to remove this. Because my money is on this being bad. But we'll, we'll see. We're going we're gonna to do some probing. We're going to find out. And as you can see, this thing is actually a mess. So let's, let's get some beeps on. And we're going to grab our super fine tips. So. Let's see. This should not be shorted to ground. So we're not getting anything there. So we are still connected. Start looking, uh, start looking at this guy. That's fine. So these are all resistors. Yet yeah, next to that one, oh, we do have a resistor. It does say R. I thought this was a diode. I, I don't know, I must have been looking at the wrong thing, but it is a RN12. So, yeah, we still have we still have a short on some of these rails. Let's see if we can't figure it out. Can't trace it down. So, with this guy getting hot, we'd have to look up exactly what is uh, what that chip does. I don't even need to use the voltage injector. Now I'm thinking about. It. I can just hook the power supply back up to this. And then once I have the power supply hooked up to it, I should be able to clearly see, because stuff's gonna heat up. Let's whip out our handy dandy thermal camera. Let's go ahead and back that up so you guys can see a little bit. And then, yeah, let's, let's go to position three. So this is the area we're looking at, which is right under there. Um, get this actually set up better. All right, so this is this is the chip we're looking at. You see how it's nice and dark. See, there's nothing there right now. And then, see right there, right in the center, it's starting to heat up. I'm gonna turn it off, and then it just fades away. So we have a, we have a short somewhere, but there's also a component over here, which is that little diode right there, that resistor right there, that's getting super duper hot. So while I have this out. We're going to scour the rest of the board and see if there's anywhere else on the board that's getting hot. Okay, so we're gonna start we're gonna start with this little guy right here. You guys can't see. We're gonna start with that. That little dot. We're just gonna do the simple thing. Let's grab we're gonna grab my plastic spudger again. We're going to verify that's what this is. So we are looking at this component, right? Wait, is it this? Now that I'm getting in here closer, is it this? It's this, right? Yeah, it's this resistor. So let's get this unplugged. We're gonna do just a nice little simple thing real quick. Should be able to do this before I have to leave. I say that but then I'm gonna make myself late to my meeting because I wanna get this done because I'm more interested in this than I am in that meeting. What are you gonna do? All right, 
here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do this, do that. So, all right, so we're going for this guy. That's what we're gonna grab. I, I enjoy be learning new things and I enjoy when my community members get involved. Let's do that. And you are a member of this community. All right, off it comes. Off with its resistor. So we wanna go without melting any of the other stuff around it. We're just gonna come in, so I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna shift it off to one side and let it go. Now, we gotta let it cool for a little bit because if we look at it right now, under our thermal camera, we ain't gonna see anything. So let's let it cool for just a brief, brief second. But what I can check is to see if this over here starts heating up, which wouldn't you know it, I can't tell. So, and all I know is it's a resistor. I, I, I have no way of, oh, which reminds me, I have no way of knowing what the resistor is. All right, how are we looking as far as temperature goes? There's no way that resistor could be that, like that heavy duty, honestly. And the other problem is without, without having access to the circuit board, I have, no, I have no clue what this is and there's nothing printed on it because this is going to be this number. It is an R291. So let me grab another motherboard that I got laying around. That should be about the same size. Only thing that's different is the color of the motherboard. But you should not judge a motherboard by the color of its UV mask, but by the quality of its solder joints and the components contained within it. Watch this be like, like a, a, a capacitor. Now it looks like that's resistors. Man, I really, really went ham on these, didn't I? Can't believe how much I destroyed this. Thank you. I just want to stick this here for a second. Make sure I'm not pointing at this jumper down here. So let's get that out of here. Okay, and now we do our little, put some solder down there, hit it with some hot air for a second, and there we go. This board is a Lenovo CIH67M. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Move that back. We are not getting our hotspot over here. There's a strange hotspot over here though. All right, we got, we're gonna have to let this cool down for a little bit. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna try, like I said. This thing doesn't have any, video, any sort of video card on it or anything. Has HDMI. Only problem is I have no idea where the switch actually goes on this. It's a front panel. Powers of flight just, just clicked. I think we got a post, boys. And there we go. Quick diagnostic, found the bad component, replaced it with, a, with just a different component. And let's check our Make sure we're not like boiling this component. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, that, that little, that resistor was bad. And there we go. And that's it. Motherboard diagnostic, motherboard repaired. All right, and we'll get this thing put back together tomorrow. And yeah, we'll go from there. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.